Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Monica Ruaini. I'm from TBI 4C. Today I will present an article entitled Teaching English Through Poem by Faisal Rahman. Language is a means of communication. The goal of learning a language is the ability to communicate. The ability of individuals to communicate through language is both a unique and universal human quality. The human capacity to think symbolically and to interpret and produce sounds makes it possible to create a language system. Human culture, social behavior, and thinking will not exist without language. On the other hand, communication would be meaningless. In the absence of thinking, language and thinking are so closely connected that it is hard to discuss one without the other. For speech can serve, thought and thought can be revealed in speech. In English language teaching, the teacher must recognize the principle and the method of teaching. Because a good teacher always wants that his or her class effective. One principles. Elizabeth and Rao mentioned that the principle of of English language teaching includes several principles, including a principle of definite objective. The first thing to do is determine the objective of the teaching. B. Principle of selecting the material. The material should be appropriate with the, with the objective of the teaching. C. Principle of model presentation. The model of presentation should be appropriate with the material and objective of the teaching. D. Principle of gradation. The material should be systematically found. E. Principle of activity. In language teaching, the students and teacher should be active. A good teacher should consider all of the principle of teaching for the better and effective teaching. And he or she should be creative in solving some problem that may be arisen in a class. Two methods. There are several methods of English, English language teaching that can be used by a teacher to teach. Larson Freeman mentioned that methods of teaching language are grammar translation method, direct method, audiolingual method, silent way, the suggestopedia, community language learning, total physical response, and communicative language teaching. Culture is everything about a nation. The habits, ethnic, character, belief, language, the character, and so on. Like Rosaldo, points out that culture is far more than a mere catalog of rituals and beliefs. Culture is the foundation of communication. It is supported by Brown, who mentioned that language is a part of the culture, and culture is a part of the language. So, learning culture while learning language is very important, and it cannot be avoided. Literature is a part of a culture that is exploring the aesthetic of language. Why do teachers should use literature in English language teaching? The first reason is literature can be regarded as authentic material because it conveys to features in its written text. The second reason is for cultural enrichment. Through literature, the students can improve their knowledge about culture. Using poem to teach language makes the students explore themes of universal concern and embodied life experience. 
observations and feelings of both by them. The implementation of teaching English through poem according to Colley and Slater is defined into several steps. 1. Warm up. The teacher gives explanation about a poem and some aspect related to the selected poem that will be used in the class. 2. Reading the poem. The teacher reads the poem first and asks the students to listen carefully. 3. Follow up. In this step, the teacher asks the students to mention some difficult vocabularies and help them to understand vocabulary by giving them the clue, then ask them about the content of the poem. The point is the teacher helps the students to understand the language and the content of the poem, by so the students will improve their language, their English language skills like speaking, reading, writing, and listening, and their knowledge of the culture. The use of literature in English language teaching can be as an authentic material that helps the students to directly know about the culture of the nation the, of the target language, in this case in English, improve their English language skill and their English vocabulary. There are many kinds of literature literary works that can be used in English language teaching. From all of those, the poem can be the one that used by many teachers to teach English language in a classroom. The use of poem in English language teaching helps the students not only about the English language, but also England culture and other knowledge about England. That's enough explanation from me. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.